time is like the time's 9.30. I haven't finished packing, barely even started. That's neat. <laughs> Two years ago, I was in this exact same spot in my bedroom saying that I was moving to university. I had a blast for a year and then I decided to drop out and chase my dreams of becoming a Gymshark athlete, fitness influencer. It's going pretty well and today I am moving into my first apartment on my own. The first time I've ever lived alone. It is in Manchester. It's going to be so amazing for all things content creation. There's a gym in the apartment, there's amazing gyms in Manchester, and uh, it's been a journey in the last two years, really. Um, I thought I'd be more emotional than this right now, but to be honest, right now I'm just buzzing. But I'm sure it'll, it'll all kick in at some point when I'm up there. I can't lie, I'm proud of myself, and I'm really thankful to all of you guys for supporting this journey. Um, it feels really good to say I'm proud of myself, and to say my parents are proud of me and to say my brother's proud of me and anyway I got a bag. The car is fully packed and I am on my way up to Manchester. We've still got an hour and 44 minutes left. I've been driving already for well over two hours. Two, like, I think actually two hours exactly. Uh, I'm currently listening to a podcast, Chris Williamson and Dr. Andrew Huberman. A uh, really interesting podcast if you want to listen to it. But yeah, I will no longer waffle. I will see you when I get to Manchester. Yeah. Hi, man. Hey, buddy. <laughs> zoomed in. <laughs> Proper zoomed in. It's moving day, baby. It's moving day, baby. Let's not show them where we live. <laughs> okay, you can stop now. <laughs> look, look at the fit. The fit's hard, though. Still doing the kettle. Whoa! <laughs> That's so fun! Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! Whoa, look at this! This is the first look. Come in. Oh, I clapped on the first game as well. My bedroom. Someone else's bedroom. <laughs> Someone's bathroom. No, I didn't say My bathroom's in my bedroom. And then the one and only. Mad. Madness. Oh, that can't get old, that view. I don't that think. is so nice. I'm gonna stand here like this. Butt naked. Naked. <laughs> Got a little gift from Harvey Nichols. Thanks, Harvey. <laughs> Who's Harvey? Nothing. <sighs> it's crazy, bro. Look at the kitchen as well. Happy? Mega. Mega. Paid in full. <laughs> <laughs> the fridge is now, on. Now we got to shop at the food bank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to so let's have a look. Shoes off. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wait, I'm going to take mine off now. Wardrobe. Will that fit? I don't remember the wardrobe being there. Uh, yeah, that would fit. Ooh. Oh my. Oh. Mate, lovely view. Get to watch the construction workers. <laughs> it's oh. not... See, I, I kind of wanted the bed to face out that way. What do you mean? Oh, so for... You could change that. You could change that, man. Mum's that would let's, let's measure it. <laughs> Foot to shoulder. <laughs> Foot to sh That will fit. That will fit. Mom's and and the fit. sockets above the bed. <sighs> the sockets either side. Should try it? Right now. Mate, definitely I'm gonna have to get a stool to take many selfies. <laughs> Mums, it's shower. nice though. Oh, you can just see me in the reflection of my big ears. <laughs> <laughs> nice size shower as well. Get the lap spread in it fully. Stand under. Oh my god, I get to look at myself. It's a mirror. Little flowers. Oh wow! Oh, the bed goes up. Oh, I forgot about that. No, you have to. <laughs> Yeah, I've got to find the handle. There's a handle here. Bare spacage. Oh, Ooh. that could snap. That could be deposit gone. <laughs> yeah, I won't do that again. Mate. I'm gonna do a pee. Oh, Chris, isn't it? It's gonna cost money, this flush. Now I'm gonna be economical and flush the top one. <laughs> stop, stop, stop! No! I was like... 
and P. Is there a meter in here? Sam's got a meter and it tells him every week how much he's spending and so yeah, it makes him, <laughs> makes him <laughs> depressed. Look at this view one more time. Down there, directly one below me. I haven't really said that. I haven't yeah. said that at all. Yeah, I forgot to say that. Me and Will, there's Will, everyone. It basically means when I'm asleep at night, James will be asleep at night. Five meters above me. Mm -hmm. oh, that's that's right. Right. We did it. Graduated uni, dropped out of uni one year later. Same position. So, so uni's a waste of time, then. Yeah. bring you in a little bit. So first of all, I want to start off by saying this is nuts. I can't put into words how grateful I am. To be honest, I'm still in shock. Like this doesn't even feel real. It feels like I've just been put in a hotel for an event uh, and I'm leaving in two days. Being able to say that at the age of 21, I'm, I'm in no way bragging. Like I, I don't want it to come across as I'm bragging, but I just want to say like, I'm, I'm proud of myself. I want to I want to more turn this into sort of sort of a message to young people out there like even 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 older people you know any age my journey started really I mean my journey started from a very young age you know so many different things you only realize this once you start like achieving things and and, and sort of thinking about yourself after spending a lot of alone time with yourself is you know my whole upbringing and everything I've ever done in my life, every, every decision I ever made has led me to this point. And, you know, and decisions I didn't make, just everything that's ever happened to me, right? One of the, the biggest turning point in my life was getting my A-level results and then not getting into my first choice of university and therefore having to take a gap year and go to a different university, which I loved, but on that gap year I learned so much about myself and I started doing social media. You owe, you hear it all the time, people say follow your dreams, follow your passions, you know, but f coming from someone that did take substantial leaps to do so as well, I dropped out of university, I was, like, I, not to get into finances and stuff, but I dropped out of university and I wasn't earning much. You know, I didn't have a stable thing to go, yeah, no, I'm going to drop out of uni now. My drop out of uni decision was I want to. And I just went for it because I, I could have gone back to uni. I took a leave of absence. So why not do it? It was an absolute no brainer. I wasn't, I got to a point, I did enjoy uni, but I, 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 there were lots of bits that I didn't enjoy. It was just a no brainer. I told myself, I told my dad, I told my mum, if I stay at uni right now, because I was on this little slippery slope already. If I stay on at uni right now, all that's gonna happen is it's gonna go worse. It was an absolute no-brainer to leave for a year and try and do something I wanted to do. And now, coming from someone that's done it, and I'm still going, like I haven't made it or anything, but coming from someone that's you know, actually chased their dreams and it's somewhat worked out, it has worked out tremendously. Uh, and I'm so grateful to whatever is deciding that, you know, it's myself and it's e external factors. I don't know what. Coming from someone that's been through that, it's such a no brainer to follow what you want to do. Why wouldn't you follow what you want to do? You can fail at something you don't want to do. It's not like, oh yeah, I'll do this. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do this because guaranteed it's going to work out. 
you know, financially, even though I don't want to do it, you can fail at what you don't want to do. So why not just try and fail at something you do want to do? And if it works, then amazing. If you fail, then you go to something you slightly less wanted to do, but you still want to do more than that. You try that. If that doesn't work, you try something else. You might find something you still, you want to do more than all of that during that process. Try that. It just doesn't make sense to me working your ass off to do something you don't even want to do. And I see it, you know, and I hate to say it. I do try and say it to my friends. You know, I am one of the only what people I know, other than Sam, other than Will, who has gone for something they want to do. And funnily enough, it's worked out for every single one that has done that. Because you're also going to work harder at something you want to do. But anyway, I don't want to get into all of that. I just want to say that my journey started when I didn't get into my first, the first uni choice. I took a gap year. I went to uni for a year. I decided it wasn't for me. And for the last year, I've been absolutely working my ass off, trying to be the best version of myself and make it work for me financially and have fun in the process. And moving here, moving into this apartment for myself, you know, is just, I couldn't have even, you know, I had no idea this would be where I ended up. But I just want to say that this is, this was tactical as well. This isn't just a random decision. This is number one, my, my, I'm, you know, obviously I don't know how it's going to go, but career wise, this is going to be a blast. Amazing. But also just daily enjoyment. Let me get into this real quick. Something that I'd never, ever experienced because I was doing the wrong thing, was actually wanting to work more than anything else. The reason you don't like work is because the work is what you don't like. But now if you actually do work that you like, you will enjoy that more than other, other methods, other methods of enjoyment. You know, I genuinely would rather do this work and keep myself occupied by doing this than so many other things that other people say they enjoy. But the reason people can't wait for weekends and can't wait to go out drinking is because for the five days a week while they're working, they're not enjoying it. They have to wait until that weekend. That doesn't make sense to me anymore. You know, I don't see that anymore. I genuinely feel worse if I'm sat still on a sofa, not doing anything, than if I am kept busy working at what I really want to do. And so I got this apartment for myself so that I can continue to do absolutely everything I want regarding work with no distraction, no, you know, no minor inconveniences. Like there is genuinely nothing stopping me in the morning. If I wake up in a good mood and I want to make a fun video, nothing is stopping me. Nothing. And that just makes me feel so good in general and confident that I can continue to make this work for myself. I, I, I hope that didn't come across as bragging and I hope it came more across as a little bit of inspiration and motivation for you guys. The message is you are logically going to do better at something you will do more of and something you will do more of, practice more of, put more work into logically is going to be the thing you enjoy the most. So therefore, you're going to do it more, you're going to be better at it, you're going to enjoy it more. Surely that is now a no-brainer. I'm not telling you to do anything rash, I'm just giving you some food for thought. And a message to everyone that's been supporting for a, a long period of time, and you guys, I, I genuinely, like when I meet you guys at events, I appreciate every single one of you, and I like, this is so cliche, man, and you've heard it said so many times, but, Without you guys, I'd be nothing at all. If you guys support the Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, you know, I appreciate you so much because without you guys, I genuinely would be nothing. You guys have always been so supportive in my DMs for years. I've got screenshots from like two years ago of people saying, you know, they believe in me. I've got comments on my Instagram that I posted today about me moving in saying like, I always believed in you. You know, seeing you came from Loughborough, seeing you on your gap year, like mind block, it's mind boggling to me. And sometimes genuinely, I'm not even gonna lie, very difficult to process. Sometimes it doesn't sink in and sometimes I, you know, get a little bit lost in it. But for the most part, like yesterday, I seriously stood and just looked out that window for so long. Like I was just like, what? So I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for supporting the journey and supporting me, um, supporting me directly through using my code whenever you buy something off Gymshark 
and I'm gonna segue onto my next point in a second. You're probably wondering why these are sat here. Yeah, when you guys decide you wanna buy some Gymshark, if I've managed to, you know, inspire you to buy something off Gymshark, because I'm sponsored by Gymshark, when you guys use your code directly, that supports me financially to be 100% transparent. I get the smallest cut of your purchase. That's how I make money. Now, talking about finances and stuff is always a little bit iffy, like on social media, I feel. So if I put that in, I've had a sudden spurt of confidence. <laughs> so on to my next point, Ghost Supplements. I am really happy to say that I'm now partnered with Ghost. Ghost are an amazing brand that started in the US, I believe. Protein powders, pre-workouts, pre everything like that, all things to do with fitness, greens and stuff as well, electrolytes. Their flavors are something that I've never experienced in the UK, because in the UK, we have more boring like chocolate vanilla, um, strawberry banana sort of thing, right? They now have, they've brought over the American flavors for pre-workout and for protein powder. So this is called cereal milk. You know when you eat cereal and it's like got that really nice sweet milk at the end? This is exactly what that tastes like. It's got 25 grams of protein per scoop. These tubs are brilliant. You open the tub and the scoop is at the very top, which is very different. I mean, I'm not gonna pour it all out on the floor, but very different, <coughs> very different from anything else you know usually the scoop is tucked away at the bottom and you've got to get sticky protein and everything but anyway i just wanted to say thanks to you guys i have been able to partner up with ghost and give you a 20 percent off discount if you use code james at checkout so save your precious money when getting this um and let me know what your favorite flavor is free delivery in the uk everything like that this is next up ghost is seriously going to start rising up to the top of the charts in the UK because the flavors are unmatched, the quality is unmatched, the variety of products you can get is unmatched. So you know me, I love the gym and therefore I need to get my protein in during the day to make sure I can build the precious muscles. Um, and this is just the absolute best thing to help me do that. Again, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate you all. I hope to meet you at future events for Gymshark, for Ghost. Code James on Gymshark again to save your money. Um, and yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed so that you get to see this whole apartment develop as time goes on. I'm gonna make more videos, you know, trying to do a little bit of interior designing. I need, I'm gonna need you guys to help me out with, you know, decoration and everything like that. So leave some comments below of uh, any good Actually, any good like lamp things, right? I want some color in here. I want some LED lamps, but I don't really know what to get. So yeah, leave a comment there. Um, and any cool little things. I want to get one of those robot hoovers because God, hoovering, probably the bane of my life. Hoovering for any Americans is vacuum cleaning. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Click that like button. That really supports me as well, because when you like the video, it tells YouTube that the video is actually fairly, fairly valuable and YouTube is now going to show it to a few more people when you like that video. Subscribe, comment, share it with a friend. Obviously, that directly helps. I appreciate you guys. Peace out.